Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Video Game Playtime meets Game Blaster 64. Hello. So we are in our cabin again. It's daytime. Um, we have a chest with some of our lovelies stored in it. I built that. Yes, he did. So, um, down here in our little pool area we have a bunch of monsters that have spawned and they're kind of collecting down there. There's, um, looks like a dead skeleton because there's a bone and stuff. So I will have to go down there and clear it out because I'd like to get that started. Um, I believe there are some creepers hanging around outside we have to sort of be careful of. And I currently there's a, have... There's a creeper down there. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And I have like a little bit on my axe, so I don't even have a sword. Um, maybe I can see if I can make one? There's a creeper I'm and a zombie down here. We don't have any resources to make anything. Two creepers and a zombie. Sounds like a movie. Two creepers and a zombie this summer. <laughs> Come okay. on outside, let's get some resources. Yes, let's. And watch out for the creepers. Oh, there's Try. one over there, sweet. Great. So, once oh, again... Oh, he can't see me. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, uh, he can <laughs> see you. Oh, oh, he just took out a chunk. Oh, no. It's okay. We got a bunch of wood blo or, um, dirt blocks. True. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yes, we are on our multiplayer server, obviously. Um, it's, uh... Fantastic. It's, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun, except for when creepers blow up your house. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna get some wood. Me too. And, I'm already oh. I'm already chopping. Pig, 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 pig. Ah, come here, pig. I've got I'm four blocks of wood. I'm absolutely terrible at killing pigs. There we go. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Perfect. Problem with killing pigs is sometimes they don't drop any bacon. Yeah, those are the thin, sickly ones, you know. You don't want their meat anyway. Well, they look the same, though, so you don't know until you do it. Well, yeah, I, I suppose. It's like autopsy, you know. You don't know until they're dead, and then you get to cut them open and see what's in there. It's like, I don't know, Operation Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> when I hear Operation, I think of that board game. That's what I was going for. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to go inside and uh, craft a sword. If you want one, I can make you one. Yeah, um, go ahead and throw it in the chest, please. Sure. I'm thinking it's probably just going to have to be uh, a wood one. That's fine. Okay. Sorry, it's not exciting. I have a um, wooden pickaxe. Well, good for you. I didn't mean that like like a five-year-old would say it. <laughs> I meant it like as in I'll go dig us up some cobblestone. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> sure. I also made myself a wooden pickaxe, but I'll just keep it in the thing for now, and I'll put the sword in there and the meat. I'll, I'll just put everything in there, and uh, and life will be good, I hope, because um, I'm going to go down there and... Down oh, underneath? Maybe I'll take some dirt. Uh, yes, Why? I'm going because I want to clear it out so that when nighttime comes, we can go down there and be happy. Well, the best way to okay, I was gonna say the best way to do that then would be to be oh, sorry would be to build um, a crossbow. So yeah, but then I need a spider for that. Yeah, but I'm telling you, like if you try to hit a creeper with a sword, it's gonna explode. Yeah, but the uh, the zombie is coming out into the sunlight and he's dying now. Oh, but he has to come out of the water. Right. Ah! I have uh, 17 cobblestone now, so at least we should have some better tools when we're done here. Good, good, good. How many... Um, Chimchuryada. How many things did you get from the uh, bacon machine? Oh, something exploded near me, but I don't think it was the creeper I was looking at. What just happened? Where was that explosion? You heard one? Yeah, I just heard a kaboom, but like there's a creeper in front of me and he's not the one that exploded. So, oh there he goes. Now he's exploded. Okay. Weird. It it was rather weird. Here's the thing I've noticed. Either yes. they're just very quick and I haven't seen them move, but or they disappear. Have you noticed that creepers, you'll look at them and then like it'll be day and then you know, all the zombies and skeletons and stuff are dead and then you'll look back and the creeper will be gone too. Like no. where did where did that creeper go? Oh, I see. Well, creepers... Roam. They don't die. No, they roam a lot. Like I know, but you know, it just seems like there are more of them in the morning than there are in the afternoon. Hmm. Well, maybe they have afternoon tea? 
Uh, yeah, or siesta. Siesta, yes, it's possible. Yeah. Uh, is that the sun going down? It shouldn't be. We've, we've only been out here for a couple minutes. Oh. For some reason, it looked like it was getting a little darker out. But never mind. I, I'm just crazy. I am also half underground, so it could it be just like maybe I'm in a shadow or something. Yeah, the um, half underground effect. Yes. So in order to stop monsters from spawning down there, you should throw some torches. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I'm Is just that the to... I know, but I don't have any torches sound? Yeah, I saw the torches in the thingy, and I was like, in the chest, and I was thinking, you know, oh, I should probably take those down there with me, but then I was like, well, maybe I'll do that later, and yeah, so, um, clearly didn't think that through enough, but... Okay. That's okay. I can just sort of get back inside and grab some, and then I don't think anything's going to spawn in the time that I'm up here getting my torches. Awesome. Okay, so how are you doing? What are you up to? Right now I'm collecting wood and other resources. I've got six dirt, 14 wood, um, two different types of wool, uh, a couple of flowers, and uh, 37 cobblestone. Wow. Okay. So I'm just getting as much as I can while the daylight's still here, and then I figured uh, whether it's this episode or the next one, we can spend some time crafting some junk, because... Yeah, yeah, we need coal. Well, I think or more than anything, we need uh, torches. Well, yeah. Because that would give us the ability to leave the cabin at night. That's right? true. Um, yeah, but, you know, the coal is what I was thinking, but um, actually I was just... You know, I mean, we can always use... Uh, we can always use some wood for that. Wait, did you just say that we need coal, and I said, no, we need torches? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I haven't had much <laughs> of my coffee yet. And <laughs> it's all good. <sighs> it's all the same. You know what I'll do? I'll come out here and collect wood. I'll get some logs, and oh, I'll get some bacon. Yeah, try to get as much food as you can, because I've got some pretty good resources here. Die, pig. It'd be nice oh, if we could make die. our cabin a little larger, too. Well, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Although, now that I have that, that water area, you know, it's a little expanded. We have a little sauna, pool. Why is this pig not dying? That was weird. Oh, He's he didn't pig. drop anything. Wool. Give me your wool. Run away, run away. Okay, I think I've scared away a lot of the livestock. Hmm. Oh, yay, there's a pig over here. <laughs> I asked Dupe to say hello and he left. Aw, maybe he's shy. Or it just crashed on him. Or, yeah. Yeah, it crashed because he's right back now. Oh, I just magically found our cabin. And this pig just randomly went, what the hell? Pigs can talk? No, it like... It was in front of me, and then I kept on hitting it, but nothing happened, and then it, like, moved behind me. Well, keep in mind that dupe just logged in, so probably the oh. server's freaking out. Leg. The server is, um, everybody that's watching this is probably going to be like, you're running a Minecraft server on that. Um, it's a single-core Athlon 1.6 gigahertz laptop with 512 RAM. Um, so we can oh, get, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um... One or two steps up from a, um, <laughs> a TRS-80, but um, you know at least we can get a few players on and we can hang out and do our let's plays. And I mean, put it this way, either that or this thing's destined for the junk heap, right? So might as well put it to good use. Indeed, and you'll never believe what I just did. You lit our cabin on fire. No, I just used the last of my wooden sword on the uh, on the leaves, the tree leaves. That's good. Yeah. You yeah. know. Not uh, very efficient, but it's, it's okay. uh, you know. Oh yeah, I guess I should um torch this place up. No, I should probably make a furnace because we have all this meat and then I should probably cook the meat, so Well, are we going to are we going to fall into our uh sexual stereotypes now that I'm going to be out hunting and collecting and you're going to be uh at home cooking? I believe it's not sexual, it's sexist. Well, sexual is as in that I'm a man and you're a woman. Sure, we can go with that. Um, I was thinking just because it's sexist, because it's sexism, as opposed to sexual, which is 
you know. It's not sexism. Okay. Sexism is when, um, like, you either give it an advantage or a disadvantage to someone because of their sex. Not, like, just simple, like, different roles is not sexism. So we'll say gender roles. Yeah, gender roles would work, yeah. Okay. They actually sound pretty tasty, too, if you think of it. <laughs> It's like a spring roll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but genderous. Uh oh, it's gonna be nighttime soon. That's okay. I'm cooking some meat. Um, Sweet supper. I need it for myself. It's a very selfish motive, but you know, I'm sure we can both benefit. Here, I'll put the cooked meat in the chest. Yeah, I think I'll make our chest a little bigger too. Sure. That'd and be that's fantastic. not a sexist remark either. <laughs> nice. That's a good idea. I put something on top of the uh, furnace. It's insulated. Is it? I guess it is. Yeah, it's like a gigantic piece of cobblestone. As long as it's not an open flame, I guess we're okay. Like what's coming at the front? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that open flame. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Reminds me that uh, there was a commercial on television a few years ago. Um, back when I lived at home, like with my parents. Um, it was, I guess it was something like Norton antivirus or some such. It's like, I installed that virus just like you told me not to. And I always thought that was really funny. Odd. It was like, you know, users make really poor decisions, so you got to watch out for them. Hmm. I'm sure some users make very poor decisions. It's true. Usually nowadays you can tell when it's fake. And you get like those emails, it's like, hey, look at all these pictures of you at this crazy party. And it's like, I wasn't at a party. <laughs> Wait, was I? <laughs> so it's kind of obvious that it's a fake email. But I guess for some people that aren't familiar with those sort of things, might not be able to recognize that it's fake. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so what's your plan for down here? Uh, nothing. I was just trying to block you in. Oh. Just for a joke. Well, thanks. Okay. We could probably actually, um, if you wanted to, we could we could uh, set this up as a uh, like a mob spawner killer machine thing. Although I don't know how often they spawn down there, cause like. Well, if you get rid of the torches, oh, I mean. There's a zombie outside. Yeah, you can hear him. No, I have my sound turned off. Oh. Well, that's a little odd. Mm -hmm. How else are you gonna know? Visually. Yeah, I suppose. I like to know when there's like stuff around. That way I can be prepared. Um, okay, so it's nighttime. Uh, we have our pool area. Yay! And we have lots of goodies. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. Lots and lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. So now we need to decide what we're going to do with these goodies. Yes, what's our next plan? <sighs> well, um, I always like building a cactus harvester. Mm -hmm. They're really simple to make and um, they don't take up a lot of space and you can use the cactus to kill other mobs and also give yourself green um, wool, which is really handy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll do that? Okay, you can do that. I'm outside getting killed. Cool. I'm just thinking too though, it's getting pretty close to the 15 minute mark. We may want to call it a, a video this time and then pick up tomorrow. Or sure. Whatever. Well, you guys take care and uh, hopefully we'll see you for our episode three next time. Mm -hmm. Take bye care. Bye.